All right, so in this video, we're gonna get into how to create a list that we can actually move uh, the items within and rearrange them. And the biggest request I had was that we don't have any buttons, like no edit button, okay? So the way you're gonna activate rearranging it is by long pressing on any one of the items in there, okay? So I'm gonna start by creating a single view app. Okay, product name. We'll just call this list draggable and then code quick tutorial underscore list draggable new folder same principle okay all right create it inside there so I went ahead and created in advance all right kind of compiled a couple different resources from all over the internet to come up with a solution so here's what I have and it's part of something I'm creating it's like a recipe sharing app and the idea here is that I can actually choose any of these items, I can drag it and let go. And the minute I let go, it rearranged the numbers too because it was based on the order. And the minute I let go, it stops modifying it. So boom, looks good, okay? So the next thing I need to do is, let's look at the components here. So inside this view, we'll start with a list, okay? And the list is gonna have a for each, okay? Uh, so we can write how many items are in it and we'll say, here and start by grabbing what I chose to have to be as the steps okay I'm gonna create steps for a recipe and I'll need this is editing variable okay so I just don't feel like rewriting all these steps so I'm just gonna copy that array but I will create the variables with you okay so state var recipe steps to that okay and then I'll say state var say editing list is gonna be equal Oh, sorry, it's going to be equal to, that's going to be just a false, okay? And then what we'll need is, sorry, this is the wrong project, I'll just get rid of that one. So what we'll need, if we look here, is we're going to need to put, essentially we're going to need to run through the list of recipe steps. So, we'll say for each, zero, dot, dot, and the reason I'm doing this instead of kind of using the other method of running through the for each is what I want to do is I want to be able to use the, the index number, okay, or the i, which you'll see. So recipe steps dot count, okay, and then we'll say i in, let's do that so we can see better, i in, and then for each one let's create a text, okay, and that text is going to say, it's just going to be, Double string to polarization, so and then recipe steps object i. Okay, and then this is going to be the styling I choose. You can copy my styling to make it look like this. Okay, this is going to be a self doc because we're inside of a closure. All right, so this isn't just my styling. Okay, and so we need to next create a function here called move. Okay, so func move. Okay, I'm going to copy that everyone to look at it together. So we're essentially dictating where it's moving from and where it's moving to. Okay, and we're telling it once you move, set is editing to false. Okay, or it, this is going to be editing list. Okay, set editing list equal to false. Okay, so what that means is at some point we're, we're going to set up in a second when you when you hold down or long press on any of these text items, it'll set it to true, which is going to allow you to drag similar to this, okay? That's based off of a long press, and then when I drag and let go, it resets, okay? So the way we'll do that is we'll grab, we'll say, say on long press, dot on, on long press, okay? And then we'll say with animation, With animation, okay, and we'll say editing list is equal to true. Okay, we'll need our self self dot editing list is true. Okay, and then the last thing we'll need, actually, it's two more things here. We'll need this environment line. Okay, and so what this environment line is saying, let's run through it together. Okay, so it needs to go at the end of list. 
and it's saying essentially it's going to determine whether or not this is editing based off of the variable editing list so this is a ternary operator it's saying if editing list it is true then set edit mode equal to active and if editing list is is false that's the other half of this colon here then set edit mode to inactive okay and the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to come here and we're going to say see this on move we're going to grab that okay and we're going to put it at the back end of the for each as well so it's just going to be right here okay and so we'll say on move, once that once a drag is successful, it'll execute the move function. Okay? So let's look at that. Okay, so on move, perform move. We'll hit resume. And let's see what we got. Okay. I hold, oh, it's not preview, so I'll just hit play. Okay, hold down, boom. Okay, and if you want it to look exactly like mine, I added one more piece in there. I added these two lines, okay? So what these do is it gets rid of all of these lines before and after the list, okay? So I just put them at the top. You'll have to say add init, and then just, oh, there, actually I actually already had that part, okay, so. Once it initializes, you're just going to say uh, the table view needs to have um, no separator. Okay. So we will hit resume. Look at it. And they should be gone. There you go. All right. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.